New information tonight in the shooting that killed two people and injured three others near the Gorge Amphitheater. This is a picture of 26 year old Jocelyn Ruiz. According to law enforcement, she and 29 year old Brandy Escamilla were walking through the campground Saturday when they were shot and killed. Three others were injured in the shooting. Good evening. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Aaron Luna has the night off and we know tonight a Washington soldier is being named as the suspected shooter. Our Rania Kaur is in studio tonight with the new details and what we know so far. Rania. Kirsten, the U.S. Army says that James Kelly, the suspect, is a joint fire support specialist at the Lewis McCord base in Tacoma. Before his arrest, he was shot by Moses Lake Police Detective Edgar Salazar. The shooting happened at a campground near the Gorge Amphitheater during the Beyond Wonderland Festival. This is 26-year-old Jocelyn Ruiz. Police say she was walking with 29-year-old Brandy Escamilla through the campground when they were both shot and killed. Lori Williams, who is a private security officer, was injured, but the bullet shattered her glasses and she was later released at the scene. Andrew Quadra, also known as August Morningstar, is recovering from a gunshot injury in the hospital. And Lily Luxich, who police say was with the suspect, was also shot. According to the North Central Washington Special Investigation Unit, the suspect, James Kelly, and Luxich were found together in a field following the shooting at the campground. That's when authorities say Moses Lake Police Detective Edgar Salazar fired one shot at Kelly. Salazar was working the festival undercover. Kelly was taken to the hospital and treated and is now in custody. The spokesperson for the U.S. Army Special Operations in a statement wrote in part, quote, The command is aware of the allegations against Specialist James Kelly. We take all allegations seriously and are fully cooperating with the appropriate authorities. Kelly is being charged with two counts of first-degree murder, first-degree assault, and first-degree assault domestic violence. Kelly is expected to make a court appearance tomorrow afternoon for his arraignment. We at 4 News Now will be there and keeping you up to date on this story. The latest information will be on our website at kxly.com. In studio, Ronnie Accor, 4 News Now.